How does the amount of weight that we lift impact variables such as getting up out of a chair, strength, hypertrophy? Follow along to find out. And as today's topic, we are going to be looking at specifically what do all the systemic reviews have to say about the amount of weight we lift and if you are lifting a heavier weight versus a lighter weight, how does this impact our training and our goals as we move forward? The first thing that the study discussed was talking about heavy versus light load and its impact on strength. Strength is defined as your ability to produce force. If you are stronger, you can lift heavier things. And if you are not as strong, you won't be able to lift heavy things. And not surprisingly, if you are lifting heavier weights, more often than not, you are going to be stronger than if you are training with lighter weights. And this kind of goes into the rule of what we call specificity. Specificity specifically states that if you are training for a particular adaptation, in this case strength, if you are wanting to lift heavier weights, you should probably lift heavier weights. And so uh, no surprise here with this systemic review, but if you are trying to drive neuromuscular adaptation for strength, we need to be lifting heavier weights. The second variable that this study just talks about is what we call hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is defined as the building of muscle, trying to make the muscle actually bigger. And the study found that it was inconclusive on whether or not heavy weights or lighter weights produce more or less hypertrophy. Uh, basically saying that if you lift heavier weights, you're not guaranteed to have more hypertrophy than if you lift lighter weights. And this is really not surprising for a lot of people that have been following some of the research lately, which a lot of research studies have been coming out that hypertrophy is actually driven not by the load we lift, but by how close we get to failure. It's driven by fatigue. Your goal, if your goal is to build bigger muscles, you need to fatigue the muscle. And you can do that with heavy weights in a shorter period of time, or you can do this with lighter weights and take a long time to build up to fatigue, but you should be able to produce hypertrophy demands with lighter weights. Other variables that they discussed in this article were functional variables, such as getting up out of a chair, stair climbing, walking speed. And what they found is that these things were impacted for the better, they would improve with load, but it did not matter if you lifted heavy or less weight. And again, this probably goes back to the rule of specificity. Specificity says that if you want to be able to do something better, you need to practice that specific thing. And so if you're lifting heavy weights, it's not the same thing as walking fast. Um, and it's not the same thing as climbing stairs. And uh, the relative overall strength demands of those activities, like getting up out of a chair and climbing stairs, for the average population is not going to be a very big task from a strength perspective. And so I can see where doing both of these things would lead to equal gains in, in all of those categories. One thing that the authors of the study were discussing about the limitations of the umbrella review relative to uh, lifting heavy or light loads is the idea that it's a very binary concept. Uh, this concept of you can only lift heavy or light. Well, there are a lot of moderate lifting ranges that we can also do as well. And a lot of the studies really didn't address uh, very well these moderate zones. And so some areas for future research would be trying to figure out how these a wide spectrum of lifting variables can impact these variables that we discussed earlier. So to clarify the main findings, if you want to be strong, if you want to lift heavy things, you need to be lifting heavy weights. My personal example is that my wife is a harpist and her harp weighs about 83 pounds. 83 pounds for a lot of people is a fairly heavy amount of weight. And so when I am training, I'm specifically thinking about trying to make sure I am preparing myself to lift her harp. And if I were to train only lifting 20 pounds all the time, I might be strong enough to lift her harp, but it's not specifically training for that adaptation or specifically training for that demand that invariably at least once a year I have to do. And so I don't want to be surprising my body with that lift. I purposely train and think about that as I am doing my lifting and my training. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.